what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here, Michael. It is Monday. Today's leg day. We're going to be doing some squats. Uh, you all know if you watch my channel, I'm chasing a good form, good range of motion, 405 pound squat. Don't know what I'm going to go up to today. Uh, I've been sticking around 365 or so. And uh, so we'll see. Uh, having said that, uh, we're going to touch on kind of a serious subject today. Not serious as in, holy crap, that's serious. But as you all know, my channel is health, fitness related. And that goes for like mental things and just general overall happiness and well-being, etc., etc. Put it, Put whatever you want in there. So uh, over the last couple of days, I think I've come to the conclusion that I need to speak to my doctor about possibly getting on some TRT. Michael, what are you talking about? Testosterone replacement therapy. Uh, it's a very common procedure that a lot of guys have to end up getting on, and uh, especially when you're active. And it's not just for this, it's for this. Um, I also suffer from depression. Now, I'm not on any medication for depression. I was at one time for a year, and then I took myself off of it because I didn't feel like it was really helping. And I think it gave me alopecia. That's where your hair falls out. Yes, my hair fell out. I don't know, but anyway, uh, I'm having some struggles internally, and I can really tell. And, uh, it's, it's really gotten to the point to where every day is kind of a struggle to kind of put one foot in front of the other, no matter what my videos might show or, you know, no matter what I try to put out there, uh, things are not always happy in the uh, Mikey land, body beat down land. And uh, so I know that your levels can be kind of weird and and I'm going to let my doctor know that if you're going to do a blood test and my tests are going to come back normal, other than my liver problem that I have. But uh, I, don't, I don't believe that it's all in your blood work. I think it affects you mentally. And I don't think it has nothing to do with blood. I think once you get to a certain point, uh, you kind of need some help. And if I'm not mistaken, I've not done any research on it at all. Very honest with you right there. I've not done any real research. But I think your levels being off, your testosterone and stuff like that can also affect you mentally. And that's where I'm feeling a lot. And plus, I'm very tired all the time. I'm sluggish. I'm irritable. I'm angry. I have a lot of just like built up aggression. But yet I'm too tired to do anything about it. So uh, kind of starting the video off here with... Uh, Kind of something a little serious, a little, a little off topic, but definitely on topic for the channel. So I wanted to get that out of the way, and uh, I don't know. I'll probably wait until we're on spring break or summer break. Uh, that way I know i got time to go see the doctor and what have you. Because I don't like taking time off. I don't miss any work. I never miss work. So uh, anyway... Having said that, if you guys feel like you need some help or, or something, you feel off and you just don't feel right, and you know your diet is in check, which my diet is in check, uh, and you still feel off, you feel weird, go talk to your doctor and uh, talk to them about testosterone replacement therapy. Now, there are some downsides, and I'll go ahead and tell you that. <clears throat> Downside is, well, you're on medication. Downside is cost. Downside is, supposedly, once you start testosterone replacement therapy, you got to kind of keep going with it or your levels can really get really wacky. So there are some cons to it, but overall, I have heard people saying that they got on it and their lives changed, and that's what I need, uh, especially in this day and age with how things are and uh, how things can affect you mentally. So uh, I'm going to be open and transparent about it. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's nothing to hide. And it's nothing that, that I would want to hide anyway because there's nothing wrong with it. That's kind of, you know, it's weird that people make you think that you need to hide that. Number one, a lot of people hide something like that. 
if they work out because they want you to think that, you know, there's no help. Now, testosterone replacement therapy, TRT, will not make me the strongest man on the planet. But it may just give me a little more pep in my step and give me a little bit more energy. That's what I need. Uh, I haven't had a very active, if you know what I'm saying, active life at home uh, for a number of years now. So, you know, I feel like I need to do something for myself and for my partner, <laughs> my significant other. And uh, that could be uh, some help. So anyway, having getting all that off my chest and kind of filling my subscribers and all you randoms in, let's go ahead and start some squats. And uh, we're going to throw some 25s on and we're going to start with 95 pounds. Now, if you watched my latest deadlift video, you know that uh, I'm pretty much done chasing my deadlift PR. Now, if I randomly try to do it again, that's crazy. I don't want to, but if I randomly do, okay, but I'm done chasing it. So I feel like I've done my best. I stopped at 455. So <clears throat> my, my next PR to get that I really want to get is my bench at 375 for one rep, and that'll match my old time PR <coughs> from years ago. And by squat, I'd like to get to 405 for one rep, one good rep. This is a long video already. I need to cut it quick. <coughs> now it, does, it takes me a while to loosen up. I have a bad back and bad shoulders and bad everything. So it's going to take me a while to get loosened up and get some sort of range of motion going. So even with 95 pounds, it's not going to look great probably. So, And I got... Wrong shoes on. With squats I have the hardest time so I really respect those of you that can just like go down and like go parallel go down and just go all the way just to where you rest in there and in the pocket I guess is what they say maybe I don't know how you do it I just don't have the mobility you know between the back and the shoulder and bad hips and knees are not great. Ankles are, ankles have been twisted and sprung a hundred times uh, in, over the years. So anyway, I'm going to do another warm up set of this and we're going to probably go up to 135 and do a couple of sets of that. And we're going to kind of go from there, see how we feel guys. So stick around. Hope you find it interesting. Maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down while you're watching. So
Stick around. All right, we got 135. All right, we're at 185. Here we are, 225. We're at 275, at 25, 245s, the bar is 45. Okay, we got 315 just to prove. I'll go ahead and show you. Got three plates there. And once you hit this stage, for me, this is where it starts getting serious. The weight gets heavy on my bad shoulders and my bad neck and back. It starts getting a little heavy on me. But we do pretty good typically with 315. We as in me. Okay, we're at 365. We got 25s on the end. 345s, the bar is 45. So we're at 3, 
65 guys and this has been where I get this has been about my max that I can get where I do decent Okay, so I went ahead and I went up to 405 today. Instead of putting another 45 on, I just went with some 10s. So we got two 10s, a 25, three 45s, and the bar, okay? talk about that at the end of the video. I'm going to work my way down. All right, we're back down to 365. Back down to 315 in hopes that I don't have to show you the plates. They're there. You'll tell by my struggle. Very happy with how those felt. All right, we're going back down to 275, 25, 245s, and the bar.
Okay, we're back down to 225. Two plates in the bar. All right, we're all the way down to 135. This is going to be my last set. I'll get about 10 reps and then we'll be done. And we'll discuss a few things even though the video is long enough. Good grief. You get used to moving that heavy weight. Just like that, we're done with leg day. That's all I'm doing. Uh, of course, uh, you've seen how I did with the 405. I've been chasing that for a while now. I've been working on it for a while now, and I'm still only getting really partial reps. I'm kind of at a point with my squats like I am with my deadlifts. I think that I'm kind of at a point where... Uh, you may have reached your limits more so with your physical, uh, your like your body, your, your ailments, more so than your strength. Uh, with deadlifts, it was just, it's a matter of just strength. Um, but with squats, it's on your back way more than a deadlift. Um, and your shoulders... I got god awful shoulders, my back's horrible. So I think honestly with my range of motion and my injuries and, and my mechanics and everything about my body, how it moves, I just think I'm kind of at my limit maybe with the 365. I'm pretty proud of that. I think I can do 365 pretty decent. Um, I have done it probably better in other videos than I did today. I'll have to assess that when I look. but. 365, I, I, I accept, and I'll say, yes, I can squat 365. 405, if someone asks, I'll say I can do partials. Uh, I might could even go three-quarter, you know, because uh, I have at times went just a hair lower with 405, just a hair, or maybe. But uh, 405 is just a lot for me, and it's 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 that minute difference Uh that could really take me out, take my back out. If I were to try and go just a little deeper on the squat, uh, because number one, I think I tend to lean forward when I'm doing squats. And that's just the nature of the business. A lot of people do. And that's all, and that right there puts a lot of stress right on the spot that my back is uh, screwed up. So. You know, today could be the final day of worrying about 405, and I may I may be okay with that, just like I am with deadlifts, you know. There comes a time when, you get, you know, you're at your limit. And, uh, you know, it's not like I just started this journey yesterday. I've been doing it now for a while. 
and uh, I've not really progressed too much. Uh, I've gotten better with my depth, with my range of motion. I've made myself do that. But as far as just getting stronger, I don't think that's happening really a whole lot. So um, anyway, this video is super long and I apologize, but uh, there's stuff that's got to be talked about. So, anyway, uh, this could, this is probably the end of my 405 journey. I'm going to call it done. I'm going to call it here. 405 is, is uh, done, and my PR is 365, we'll say. And uh, I'm okay with that. With as bad as my, my body is, and I'm not a spring chicken anymore, I am okay with 365. Sure, I'd like 405. But I'd like a lot of things. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed my little journey on this. Uh, I am going to still squat. I'm still going to go at least 365 and, uh, you know, enjoy that for what I can. See if I can get at least a little bit stronger, maybe rep out like four reps with that, and uh, which that would be a feat in itself. So anyway, really my next PR and my main one that I'm trying to work on now is my bench PR and get that to 375. And uh, I have to have spotters for that and I can't get anyone over here. It's uh, very difficult to get anyone over to help just for even a minute. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep lifting and going as kind of heavy as I can and working out and trying to get reps with heavier weights and stuff. And by the time I do get a spotter over here, I'll be able to get it. So I feel, I feel okay about that. I have done 365 a couple months back or so, so I know I'll get 375 again. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, hope you're getting a good bit of exercise for your mind, body, and soul, all that good stuff. All that good stuff, you know, and uh, have a good day, good work week. And uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, your long-winded host. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. We'll see you next time on the body beat down. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.